Alright, so it's Seb gonna be here bringing you my very first first impressions video. And this is my first impressions on Graves the Outlaw. So pretty much, this is my second game with Graves. And I'll just be outlining what I like, what I dislike about Graves. Some nice key features that he has Welcome that differentiate from other champions. Raven. And how I see him in the new meta. So pretty much, I'm playing Graves as the ranged AD with Tarek the support at bottom. So pretty much what I find is Graves has a very powerful early game when it comes to laning due to his pretty much his Q which is kind of like a volley. But what I like about how Riot did it, they didn't make this overpowered. What happens is if they get hit with one or more or two more bullets then um, pretty much it takes 35% damage, so it just doesn't completely obliterate everything. And here we kind Enemy of got um, a 2 for 2 here, but I got first blood so I guess it's sort of worth it. So I got struck with the minions, and also my Q also um, hits the enemy champions really hard. Also, you, I find that your Q can be used great for farming and poking. It can be used at the same time if you can if you utilize it well. And what I also like about his Q, it synergizes really well with his E, his quick shot or whatever. Pretty much, he can dash towards the enemy and then quickly use his Q, maximizing his damage. Also, a nice feature that they added was darkness, kind of like not an alt but in a little tiny little circle. It's really, it's actually a really nice spell like in team fights because it can really confuse the enemy teams. They really don't know what's happening. Also, smoke screen can be used offensively and defensively just like the champion spotlight. So pretty much Graves, we have lane dominance and we have ward and river, so we aren't too afraid of gangplank. Ganks, yeah, apparently there's a gangplank that's juggling without smite, but so here, as you can see, I almost landed the combo using my dash towards them and my Q. Because it hits really hard early game because not many champions have too much armor at the very start of the game. But what I really don't like about my E, my dash, is that it's a skill shot, sort of. Basically, it's not like Riven's dash, where it's like wherever you're facing you dash towards there. I expected it to be like that so it took because I played Ribbon a lot and it took me a while to get used to this using his E. But what I like about his E is that it's kind of forcing you to get into um, pretty much forcing you to auto attack instead of just sitting at the very back and just poking because pretty much every time you auto attack it reduces the cooldown by his dash by one second. So it's pretty much if you can dash, hit them a couple of times, or reduce the cooldown. And it's oh, I like the concept of it, just not so much of the skill shot of it. Um, yeah. So his alt, it looks like it's really nice, but sometimes I miss it. I still haven't really gotten the hang of where should I aim my alt and how I can aim it. Should I try and aim it at them and then get the AOE damage or... I don't know, but it's a pretty neat alt. It's kind of like a rocket launcher. You hit with the initial impact and then it explodes behind you. But yeah. So pretty much... Um, I'm, just, I'm just laning right now. Nothing too much to say about it. As you can see, we have dominance. And what I like was E, it can help push lanes a lot. As you can see, I just dash towards the side. And pretty much, it gives me that extra attack speed bonus. So here, my ult pretty much obliv obliterates the Shaco with um, Tarek last setting with the Shatter. So as you can see, I'm using my Q to last it. Or not last it, to help me farm. Just to speed up the process, just so I can push the lane, so I can just use my and then get the attack speed boost. As you can see, I'm not afraid to use my alt to farm for minions. It's only a roughly around 60 second cooldown. And I'm just trying to get my items um, for the mid game, because I'm not under farmed, it's just that 
It's better if I can if I can just get the solo farm, the mid game will be much much better. And as you can see, although I sped it up, I did take that turret down really fast, just using my E. Graves can also be used as also for utility. The smoke screen is also a very nice tool when it comes to dragging. As you can see, Gangplank is just wandering around, and he decides to go in my smoke screen. And pretty much, he does not see our hitting, so it's kind of hilarious how that how smoke screen can do things to people. And he has a very high mobility. But what's happening with Graves is that um, pretty much, uh, I think he's gonna outclass quite a bit of Vayne's DPSs due to his blind, but I can still think Caitlyn and Vayne are still one of the top picks for range DPS, mostly because um, Caitlyn, her early game with her in immense range is just amazing because, you know, Caitlyn Tarkling, you don't want to be messing with those. So then, pretty much, um, also for Vayne, Vayne is just an amazing AD carry. I don't think, like, damage-wise, Vayne can deflate so much damage with that true damage percent. That's why, and Vayne also, um, outclasses, uh, um, Graves with mobility. So pretty much, Graves is... I'm very nice strong mid game, he doesn't have damage from his Q doesn't really fall off. And he does great damage with just his auto attack with his positioning with his E. As you can see, I use my W just to pretty much slow and so just they don't Sorak doesn't even see us coming at her. So yeah, pretty much Graves just auto attacks everything and uses his Q. So overall I still think Graves isn't the best AD carry, but he seems like more of more action based. Let's put it out that way. Just I think um freaking the champion of spotlight mentioned that Graves is an AD carry, but to do maximize the damage you have to get um get closer. So as you can see, I kind of got a little cocky, but I still don't get picked off. And I flash out, and I try to go back to the team fight, and get Clank decides to come back in, so I just exhaust him and kill him. And pretty much, I'm just, with my lifesteal, I'm able to stay into the team fight and sustain myself. So, right now we're in Baron, and what Graves can do, he can put the smoke screen across from Baron so that he can, just to see who's in the smoke screen. So that's also a neat trick you can use when playing Graves. And the build that I use for Graves is pretty much. Um, Phantom Dancers, Eye Edge, and the Riggles, I think it's the Cock, Chocks or whatever, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Um, get the Riggles for map control with the Phantom Dancers as your crit and attack speed along with the Infinity Edge. And pretty much utilizing your Riggles as the life steal. So pretty much we're just pushing through pretty much winning the game. And yeah. There's not much to talk about Graves, just that like he's more action based, so pretty much you're not like Caitlyn where you're just pretty much auto attacking everything. For Graves, you're pretty much you have to use your E to mobilize yourself around the team fight, out and in pretty much out of danger but still back in so you can dish out enough damage. And also using your Q as a nice poke whenever the enemy is just grouped up. And his ult is also a nice finisher. Um, Graves, I think he outclasses Misfortune. There won't be too many Misfortune out there now, mostly because Graves, what Misfortune did was kind of the AoE sort of physical DPS from my time. Pretty much people would get Amumu, Galio, Morgana, Misfortune, all those AoE alts pretty much just crash on people. But with Graves now, he has his ult and also his Q as two great AoEs and also his smoke screen slow and pretty much use the shit out of the enemy. So pretty much I think Graves is gonna outclass Misfortune a lot more. But she's still gonna be played, but I still think Graves 
kind of outclassed this turn. Mostly because Riz also has the mobility and he also has the attack steroid boost that Misfortune has. So pretty much that's what happens with this game. And I hope you like my first impressions and rate, comment, subscribe.